What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll return the subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. I said before that extreme crimes need extreme punishments. And uh, I also said this, Chicago is rough. I mean, shout out Chicago, you know what I'm saying? All my uh, loyal listeners out there, but it's rough. I'm going to talk about this story that's going all over the internet and is basically blinking in the news today about this Chicago police officer by the name of Enrique Martinez. I think they said he was 26 years old. And he, uh, he tragically lost his life last night. You know, as him and a few other officers walked up on a car on a routine stop. And uh, this guy got unloaded with the whole clip. And uh, he tragically lost his life. I'm going to go ahead and play you this video that just surfaced now. And uh, they block out. Somebody recorded it. They block it out. But you can see and hear a little bit of the hysteria that ensued after this person pulled the gun out and shot. Take a look at this, man. We're learning more details about the circumstances behind the deadly shooting of a Chicago police officer, Enrique Martinez. The 26-year-old was approaching a stop car in East Chatham last night when a suspect opened fire. The burst of rapid gunfire caught on the Citizen App video. We are going to share a short portion of that clip, but we do want to warn you that it may be difficult to hear and see. Two people in connection to that shooting are now in custody and a second person inside that car was killed. And there's now outrage today over the young officer's death and what led up to that shooting. Our Joni Lum is live with more of those latest developments. Ryan, Chicago police officers all over the city learned this tragic news and they are in mourning today. We are at the 6th District where Officer Enrique Martinez was assigned. His colleagues here said to be especially upset because Officer Martinez was a young officer who was eager to protect Chicagoans, had his whole career ahead of him. Mayor Johnson today talked about the city's grief and sorrow. We are calling for swift um, acts of justice uh, to bring the individuals responsible for um, this horrific tragedy uh, to justice. This morning, a large shipment of flowers was delivered to the 6th District. Officers carried in multiple arrangements, part of an outpouring of support for the police station colleagues who lost one of their own in gun violence. Counseling also being offered here today. Last night, 26-year-old officer Enrique Martinez was part of a team that stopped a vehicle with three occupants at 80th and South Ingleside in East Chatham. Police say the driver opened fire with a rapid, wep rapid fire weapon, fatally striking officers. Officer Martinez and an occupant of the car. They say the gunman drove away, striking another officer who's recovering at a hospital. Police arrested the suspected gunman and another passenger. They recovered a semi-automatic weapon and a handgun. Other officers raced Martinez to University of Chicago Medical Center where police officers gathered in support. 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez said officers are working in a dangerous environment where they literally are under the gun. All I know is that I'm not going to second guess my officers who are trained well. But what I do know is that even in those circumstances, if you have someone who has an extended clip and a willingness to use that weapon and unload it on a police officer, no amount of commands is going to stop them from doing what they're doing. What we do know is that with technology being removed as officers descended upon the scene, they had no idea that an extended clip was being used. They had no idea. And we could have had much greater casualties. Uh, if they had not stopped that offender. One officer discharged a weapon, so COPA is investigating. Here at the 6th District, the police flag of mourning is posted. Later today, there's going to be something special for the third watch. Those uh, colleagues who work directly with Martinez. He was a Southwest Side resident, engaged to be married, had a brother on the force, comes from a law enforcement family. The 6th District in deep sorrow today. Reporting live on the South Side, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you. Thank you so much. Guys, that's the story of what happened to uh, Chicago PD officer Enrique Martinez. May he rest in peace, like I said before. And this is one of the reasons why nowadays I couldn't be a police officer. 
Not saying I don't respect them because they do a lot. And until one of them dies and then, you know, you hear about how it happened and, you know, then people start to think like, well, maybe, you know, that's that's not a, you know, it's tragic that that happened and the person was a human being. The man was just doing his job, his job. Said he was serious about trying to make the street safer. And uh, that's what happened to him. He said he was on the force for three years. Walked up on the car. The dummy that had the Glock switch or whatever it was. Let the gun go. Couldn't control it. Hit his man and everything. Killed him. Police scrambling, screaming. Guy on the ground. They back up, hit another car, and then take off. It's a bunch of craziness. What's crazy is they got the gunman. Now, I'm anxious to see how he look physically when they bring him into that uh, courtroom when he do appear in court. Because supposedly he was hurt too. But either way, man, come on, man. Come on. There are places out here that like, you know, where they have people that like chaotic disorder. What do you do with them? See, that's the thing. You can't deal with a civilized mind when dealing with the atrocities of savages. And that's the way I look at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm more than sure those people that was in that car was told the right and wrong things to do in life, but chose not to listen and chose that they were smarter than everybody else. And like I told you, people that do dirt like doing it. Like doing it. Guy had an extended clip in the car. So that happened around 8 o'clock last night. Driving around with the gun on you. What you need a gun on you for? Driving around. Now, I mean, I know some people say Chicago, but I'm just saying in general, period. Why do you need a gun on you in a place as free as America? Think about it. Nothing comes good from that. And you've seen it right there. You run around with these guns on you, these cops come up on you by circumstance, and all of a sudden you panicking and you shoot, you wind up killing your boy and you wind up killing the cop. What defense lawyer can take that and get you out of it? None. Said so the man come from a long uh, line family of uh, law enforcement. So somebody was a cop, said his brother was a cop. I guess somebody else was a cop and then he followed suit, but he tragically lost his life. And the whole city shook up. It makes no sense. There are people out here, like I said before, their recreation is the recreation. It don't matter if you're wearing a badge or not. Police are needed. I don't know why people talk about they need to defund the police. So who's going to stop people from busting up in your house and taking advantage of you or possibly taking your life? See, it's always easy for people to say, hey. They need to do this, but it's no solution after they say something needs to be done. Either way, man, the guys should still be here. Those dudes shouldn't be locked up. The world is a mess. But I told you, to really fix this, we got to get rid of a lot of people. And there are some people that are beyond repair. And you're seeing it in almost every news story I do. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.